Pat, uh, obviously you've been in there with Habib Nurmagomedov. Um, just, can you give us a description of what it's like being in there? You went full three rounds back at UFC 165. Just tell us what, what it's like being in there with Habib and, and how tough his, his grappling obviously is and his wrestling. Uh, yeah, it's, it's real tough, obviously. Um, a lot of people make a big deal about how strong he is. That's one question I get. Like, oh, how strong is he? Well, it's not his strength that's overwhelming. It's his constant movement and uh, his ability to kind of shut down what you're doing, especially on the ground. Like, when we grappled... Um, I just couldn't do anything. Like I couldn't move my hips. He he really like isolated me down. And like I said, it wasn't from his strength. It was more from his positioning. And you know he's always in good position. And uh, you know he is like very explosive and quick too. He tends to trap the hand when he gets you on the ground, and, and we've often seen Habib do that. Um, neutralizes one hand so he can obviously land shots with the other. Um, how tough is that? to um, neutralize and not let him get you into that position effectively. Yeah, man, uh, it's, it's very tough. He's very good about, like I said, he, he kind of out positions you to open up those opportunities to do things like trap your hand and stuff. And uh, it's not, a, not like he's overpowering you. He's just put you in such a bad position where you – he knows which way you're going to go. So he's kind of stand one he- step ahead of you. And, uh, man, once you get there, uh, luckily I wasn't as, you know, some of the recent beatings he's put on people have been a little bit worse. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, you don't want to get caught there with him. He's real good about, you know, holding his position, knowing when he can hit and, you know, kind of keeping it like that, like hold, hit, hold, hit, hold, hit. So you never have a really uh, an opportunity to, to get your game going. You're a guy, obviously, Pat, now, since you've, you've called a day with your career, you're a guy who's, who's, who's always been a coach, but you're obviously more of a senior role now. Looking on at fights, have you seen, what have you seen, should I say, in the major improvements in, in Habib's game? Uh, I mean, I think it's his willingness to open up more. You know, early on, uh, he'd, he'd kind of out wrestle guys, like throw them down and then kind of let them back up and throw them down and let them back up. Or he'd take you down and hold you real tight. But now he seems to, um, have, have evolved where he's, he's doing a lot more damage and, um, against like Barbosa, you know, all that leg trapping yeah. stuff he was doing is, is pretty, pretty cool. And I think different from what a lot of people are doing, it's, it's something you see a lot in like college wrestling here in the states and and maybe international wrestling, but where he just kind of traps your leg, you can't really move one one way or the other, and then he's just teeing off on you. I, I think you've tried that a few times as well um, in the past in, in, in your strike force days. I remember a number of fights um, when when you got guys into crucifix uh, positions. Do you think you know obviously striking? is the area of weakness for Habib. I think we've seen that, you know, the ally came to fight last time out and then um, before that against Michael Johnson when, when Johnson hurt him momentarily in New York. Um, is that the key for Conor McGregor in this fight? You know, everyone says that, you know, that Khabib would be crazy to stand with Conor. Um, do you feel his striking is, is well below par? Uh, I don't, I wouldn't say it's well below par. It's just... You know, I think the main thing he's got going with his striking is he's a really explosive and he's like an incredible athlete. And then he does really awkward stuff. He doesn't move like a regular, you know, guy does on his feet. So I think that can throw a lot of people off. So I think the tell will be if uh, Connor can can pick up on that and and read those weird things he kind of (laughs) does. What's your general feeling for this fight then, you know, in, in, in a couple of weeks' time? Um, you know, obviously having been in there with Habib in the past and looking on at Connor and, and seeing the kind of striker he is, it's obviously the class, classic striker uh, versus grappler matchup. H- how do you see it panning out yourself, Pat? Man, I've been so back and forth on it. I, I really don't know how to call it. Uh, 
I think the tell is going to be how often Connor can kind of break distance and those uh, initiate like Khabib's initiations to close the distance. If he has that happening a lot, Connor's so good with his timing. Uh, I think he's going to eventually catch him coming in. But if Khabib can get in and stay in and kind of wear on him there, not let him get any space. Uh, that's going to be the biggest thing. I think that will kind of decide the fight. And um, where would you measure the advantage in terms of you know keeping distance and range and uh, for, for either guy in this fight? Well, I think Connor's one of the best at catching a guy coming in, uh, closing the distance. He's so good with his timing. Um, so I think he's got the advantage there. Um, it'll just he, and he did you know in some of his past fights. I don't think people give him enough credit on uh, how good of a kind of grappler and you know everybody's the Diaz fight yeah it was the second Diaz fight was he he did some you know some some really good I thought um, takedown defense especially against the cage yeah yeah so I mean if he can defend that stuff and then uh, I mean obviously Khabib's a better wrestler than Diaz that uh, you can see how like torn I am on it. Like every time I think one way, I, oh, well, but you know, keep Khabib does this so well. Well, Connor does this so well. So it'll be interesting. Uh, but like I said, I think the biggest thing is if Khabib's got to close the distance and keep the distance closed. He can't have where he he's closing the distance five, six, ten times around because Connor's gonna catch him if he does that a lot. Pat, I have to put a shotgun to your head. Who are you picking uh, to win the fight and, and that lightweight world title? Uh, well, I'm going to say for, for now, Khabib. I thought, I just watching the press conference, I thought Connor was too emotional. You know, he, he's always really good about, you know, he's a great, you know, you can't, the guy gets under people's skin and he's, <laughs> You know, he's downright hilarious when he's, you know, picking people apart. But this time just seemed like he was way more emotional about it. He's he obviously they're they're bad blood and stuff. Like I felt like he was he's let that get to him too much. Um, so I'm going to pick Khabib. But if you ask me again in a week, I might have a different answer. So that's what I'm sticking with right now. Just one more for you, and it's interesting you said that in terms of um, going into a fight and having that you know relaxed, cool mindset in comparison to something where there's bad blood or animosity. Uh, you've obviously experienced that in your career, and, and, and what way has it sort of panned out for you in terms of that thought process? Um, you know, what always worked for me was... Uh, is just having no emotion towards my opponent. So the more emotional I'd get, you know, I was always a little bit over aggressive. So that would, that would play into it more. Um, so, you know, kind of approaching it as a job, like, Hey, like, I don't like this guy, but this is what I got to do. You know, we don't, we're not friends. Like we're not going to be friends afterwards, but this is just business. You know, I think the more you let kind of your emotions get into it, the, you know, the worst decisions you make. So it'll be uh, interesting to see, especially over the next few weeks leading up, if if Connor can kind of reel that in or, um, you know, and yeah. keep kind of keep his head calm as he as he comes in. Pat, it's, it's been a pleasure. Uh, do appreciate the time, my friend. Hey, man, I always appreciate it.